What's up, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Mike Life. This is Drive and Talk episode 7? I think it's episode 7. I've lost track. But anyway, yeah, man. Beautiful day today. It was raining all night. And it showed that it was supposed to be raining today until like late afternoon. But it kind of broke. It's what time is it now? 10.30 in the morning. I was like, you know what, let me take advantage because it's showing it's going to rain again. So I figured, you know what, let's do the drive now. It's nice and sunny. I think the past two drive-in talks, just been cloudy outside. It's 73 degrees. AC is on. Hopefully no issues with the cameras. Today I do have Steve. Steve is operating this camera. He's on the other side of the camera operating that one. Larry is operating my other camera. So... Hopefully everything goes well today. Oh, what's been going on? <sighs> lots of stuff, lots of stuff been going on. Uh, carport, actually before we talk about the carport, my wife's hair salon, still nothing. I don't know what the hell is going on. I think I'm about to contact my, well, I'm gonna have my wife contact her insurance company to find out what the deal is you know, because technically it's the building's insurance that has to cover everything. But I gonna need to figure something out because this is ridiculous that it would take this long for anything, for some sort of uh, next step to happen. So, I don't know, man. This is some crazy, crazy stuff. I don't get it. I do not get it. So, yeah, I'm going to contact the insurance or my wife. We'll both probably together do it and... um find out maybe we could put the claim through on our insurance and then our insurance will go after the landlord's insurance something like that maybe we'll do we'll see because this is this is crazy you know the, the place looks like shit on the outside you know customers see that and they think to themselves damn looks like the riots happened <laughs> in front of the salon i don't know crazy crazy stuff so yeah we'll see so nothing really no updates on that situation there where am i i'm somewhere in queens right now driving around carport so carport's done came out nice so what i did was i had asked them to if i was able to record clips i wanted to record in the carport and the guy didn't want a recording he didn't want his secrets revealed on how he does his carports i was like what so uh when the when the owner was in there some of his employees were there they let me they didn't care they actually liked the idea that i was recording it i guess they don't like their boss or something so i did get a few bits and pieces of the uh install the so you'll see like uh so I'm, like while i'm i'm gonna be playing some videos now obviously you guys could see it but uh there's some uh you'll see how they this progression how it started how the framing is done i mean these guys did a pretty good the structure it's good the way they did it steel beams running across don't have to worry about snow that's the one thing when new york we got a lot of snow sometimes you'll get snowstorms where you'll get like a foot two feet of snow so there'll be a lot of weight on top of there so there's a lot of support i don't have to worry about that thing just caving in dropping down and smashing into my car so the car park came out awesome i also did some uh, lighting inside it i put up uh five led fixtures they're temporary lights that i've put up they sell them in four packs on uh, amazon and all you gotta do is they plug into each other with the regular plugs. So you just plug into each one. So I did that and I got an extension cord up there also. And then to power it on, all I do is unplug it. I only have that plugged in when I open the garage door. I could plug it in and control it that way. So this way I don't forget it on, you know, so. And uh, right now, Robert Shkreli is texting me and he says, what's good? So, Robert, you're going to see this video and you're going to see when you texted me and you're going to know why I didn't respond because I was recording a driving talk, brother. My man, Robert Shkreli. Shkreli, shout out to you, man. One of my Patreons. Uh, love your coffee, man. Thank you for the gift. All that coffee that you sent me. It's going. It's delicious. 
been using it for making pictures of iced coffee. I love it. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of impatient people driving around in this area. I think up here is, um, is this Union Turnpike? Yeah, this is Union Turnpike. You know what, let's make a left on Union. This whole area here is full of cameras. They got cameras everywhere. So, oh, I ain't even trying to go through that yellow light over here. Ah, across the street is Cold Stone Creamery. My wife loves that place, Cold Stone Creamery, for getting like ice cream cakes and stuff like that for birthdays. That's her spot right there. Over here, I think, is uh, this it over here? Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is it, St. John's. I don't know if you ever guys have heard of the college, St. John's Prep. I think it's what it's called, St. John's Prep. St. John's College, whatever it's called. But yeah, St. John's is here. What else is around here? I haven't been in this area in a while, Union Turnpike. But we'll see. There's lots of places up here. This, this place over here, you guys can't see it to my left. There's a nice Italian uh, pizzeria over here. They got good pizza. These lights take forever over here. There we go. So yeah, been enjoying the carport. It's awesome. I So anyway, uh, let's go back to the lights. So they sell them on Amazon, LED fixtures. And they cost... Uh, what was it, like $40? So it ends up costing you $10 a fixture. Which is pretty good. I got them outside. I was thinking about getting waterproof ones, but they ain't no water gonna hit them there, for the exception of when I operate like my uh, pressure washer to wash vehicles under there. It might get a little mist of water. I've already tested it out, you know, washing the car. Nothing happened with the lights. But even if the light burns out, it's 10 bucks for a fixture. So I think that's cheap. So I ended up buying uh, two sets. So I put, I originally put, I bought one set. I put four of them under the carport. And then I ended up said, you know what? I'm gonna put some in the garage. Cause I had a fluorescent fixture in there. Not enough light. So I bought another four pack and I put three out of the four inside the garage. And the other one I put under the carport. So I got five fixtures under the carport at night. Oh man, the lighting is beautiful under there. Perfect, just to hang out. I mean, if I have a party or something, my backyard isn't the, the greatest or biggest backyard here in New York, but at least now that spot there, if I have people over, want to do a barbecue, and let's say it just starts raining while you're entertaining outside, everybody could be under there. Don't have to worry about rain or nothing, the sun hitting you, so. And it stays nice and cool in there. And the one thing I've I've noticed too is with the car now, especially like if it's 85, 90 degrees outside, I get into the car, it's cool. The car stays nice and cool being under there. So I'm really loving that, that where you don't have to fight the heat in the beginning when you start the car up. You've got the air conditioner on. It's got to cool off the car. Nah, you don't got to worry about none of that with the carport. Nah, I've... I've it was it was expensive but well well worth it well worth it like the last video I did for the uh, I put those uh, spinners you know the uh, for the wheels the BMW uh, center caps that have spinners it was so enjoyable doing the video under there in the carport didn't have to fight the Sun the lighting looked great and I didn't even have, did I have the lights on? I don't remember if I had the lights on. But just the lighting was just perfect. Didn't have to fight the sun. So I really enjoyed that. And uh, what else? Oh, I actually had a company. One of these uh, companies uh, from Amazon contact me. They want me to, re oh, they're not from Amazon, but they're sellers on Amazon. They want me to review one of their, uh, the car, uh, what do you call it? The foam cannons. It's one of those foam cannons where you attach it to the pressure washer to create foam soap on the car. It makes the uh, makes the soap like shaving cream on the car. So, what's going on over here? Something going on here on the right. 
What is this? Looks like it's some sort of a swap meet of some sort over here. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, so they want me to do a video on it, and I said, yeah, why not? So do a video on this. I already got the I already got the uh, foam cannon. Oh, it looks pretty good. I haven't used it yet. I opened up the package. I looked inside just to see everything was there. So uh, yeah, I'll be probably recording that video tomorrow. I'll record it and uh, maybe tell you guys a little bit about uh, how these uh, snow foam cannons work with the pressure washers and so forth. Yeah, I have, uh, what do I have? I have at least, what do I got, two? No, I got three. I got three foam cannons. With this one here, it'll be four now that I have. Oh, my windshield's dirty. So I got foam, four foam cannons, three of them I bought. And uh, one obviously came from uh, for the video that I'm gonna do. So maybe I'll even do some com comparison videos with the foam cannons that I have. And uh, I guess let you guys know which one is the which one operates the best and what's worth the money. Because one of the foam cannons that I have is called uh, I think it's called the MTM Hydro PF.2 something like that. And that one I had bought because I, I watched a lot of videos and I saw that one and it's supposed to be it's made in Italy the, one of the best ones out there it cost ninety dollars so I, I was like wow these 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 things cost ninety bucks I bought it and then I see there's other ones I guess all well, those cheaper brands that you could pay thirty forty dollars that do the same thing almost like the vape stuff but remember you have high end and everything like with the vape stuff you have your high end vapes. And your regular vapes your mass produced stuff so that foam cannon that I paid 90 bucks is more of a high-end one that I have but I also have another one this Trinova it's called I paid $35 for that one uh, I have this other one uh, MJJC pro foam cannon something like that and uh, that one which I haven't used it yet but it's supposed to do everything that that high-end one does, and even better. And that one was $65. So, yeah, so I'm gonna test a few of these out and use them and do some videos on them and uh, let you know which one to get, and pressure washers too. So if you're into that, you wanna wash your own cars, use a pressure washer, foam cannon, and so forth, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks on there. I'll even direct you guys to uh, like others that have done lots of research on it, that have done everything for the pressure washers and which ones to get, that know better than me. Remember, I'm not a professional detailer. I'm not a professional at this stuff. I'm just doing it and giving you guys my experience on these products. Oh, the speed cameras everywhere. These speed cameras never alerted me unless because it's Sunday they're off. I don't know. Oh, Greek family kitchen. Oh, there's a Greek restaurant right there. I don't even know about that. It looks like it's new. So, yeah, videos on the, the Mike Vapes channel, they're going to slow down dramatically. And it has nothing to do with me. It's more of a China. I guess because it's August, they've slowed down. I think next week I have nothing to record. No videos, nothing to do on that channel. I don't even have anything that's been pre-recorded or scheduled. I do have videos to go up the following week. Three or four videos that'll go up. Which this is from companies that sent me products a week ago. But they don't want them released yet. They want me to test them out and do the video and schedule them. They already they wanted certain dates that they wanted these videos to go up. So I got videos going up. I think it's August uh, 16th, the 18th, the 20th, and the 21st. So those four items right there are the only things that I have. And uh, I already started doing some of the recordings on them and scheduling them. And I'll be doing more. This way I'm all done because I'm going to be going away also. I'm going to be gone for about two weeks, two to three weeks, somewhere inside there. I am going to Florida. 
I have some work that I got to do there. But while I'm there, I'm bringing also my camera equipment with me. Lots of camera equipment. I'm gonna bring. I'm bringing my. Uh, I actually got a laptop for editing. Bringing that with me, and that's gonna stay there. And this way, I'll be able to record some reviews there. So I'll do some videos on the Mike Life channel, this channel here. And if I have any vape stuff, I'll do the videos there. So, like, if I get a product that comes into New York, my wife will send it to me to Florida. So this way, I could do the video there until I get back. You know, but this is the time that I had planned to go to Florida was in August because that's the slowest time when it comes to like the vape stuff. So, yeah, so I got some work that I got to do there. So I'm actually looking forward to getting away, getting out of New York. What's over here? I hear music playing. Who's playing loud jazz music? I want to get copyright strike. <laughs> Put the windows up. Uh, someone's playing some loud jazz music somewhere around here. I don't know if it's coming from a car or from a restaurant here, but it sounds like there's a band playing, and I don't see no band or anything like that out here. Oh man, you know what I forgot? I forgot to bring my iced coffee. Damn, forgot my iced coffee. I'm pissed. I think it's coming from a, one of those vehicles in front of me. It's got to be. Yeah, so while I'm in uh, Florida, I'm going to actually record a uh, drive and talk. So I'm going to do a drive and talk in Florida so you guys could see the area where I'm staying at. Yeah, it'll be cool. I'm actually looking forward to it. I just got to remember this trip to bring my mounts that I have inside here to bring them with me. The so last time I went, I brought the cameras, forgot to bring the mounts, and I couldn't do a drive and talk there. I was pissed. And I wasn't about to go buy new mounts and look for them. So I ended up scrapping that idea. But for now, this trip, I'm definitely bringing them with me. As a matter of fact, after I'm done with this drive and talk, when I take off the cameras, I'm actually taking off the mounts with them so I don't forget them. Yeah, so it's going to be exciting to do a drive and talk in Florida. Looking forward to that. We'll see. I might even do a, I might even start my new series while I'm there too. Cooking with Mike. Something like that I will call it, right? Cooking with Mike. We'll do something like that. Mike grills. <laughs> we'll do something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I got the uh, Blackstone griddle there. So I'm going to do some cooking there. Some cooking videos. Why not? I'm going to have Steve and Larry with me. They'll be running the cameras. So it's going to be quite exciting. Looking forward to that. So we'll get some cotton content up on this channel, on the Mike Life channel. Yeah. It's kind of dead over here, this area. Union Turnpike. <coughs> Lots of businesses. They look like they're open. I don't know. Looks pretty dead in this area. So, so far, camera's been operating good, and I'm probably gonna jinx it by saying so far the cameras have been operating good. But uh, yeah, no hiccups, no overheats, nothing. Uh, Steve, Larry, you guys are doing a great job with the cameras. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so what else, anything else new? Oh, I did some repair work in my house. I had, uh, remember when I had uh, did the, the new AC unit and these AC units have remote controls. So I have like the uh, little uh, remote control holder that I have uh, mounted on a wall next to a light switch. So I ended up relocating it because I got the new controller with the new mount and it's not universal. So the old mount for the old AC, I had to remove it so there were holes inside the wall. So I relocated it. So anyway, I did some patchwork, patched it up, did some taping, compound, whatever, patched up the holes, primer, sanded actually to the primer then I went to go look for the paint and I opened up the can of paint because I know I had a little bit left you know for touch-ups and stuff like that I like to save paint make sure I always have the color 
at you know at home so this way for touch-ups and stuff like that and the paint dried up no paint so I was like oh shit so now I got to go to Benjamin Moore and get a gallon of paint my wife's like why don't you get a quart I'm like why would I get a quart I'll probably end up using it then to buy another quart and the price of two quarts probably equals what a gallon would so I just might as well just buy the gallon I like the color uh, what's the name of the color? It's some some tan color. Oh God, what's the name of it again? Or not tan beige? I think it's called bleaker beige. I think that's what the color is. I have it like a two tone bleaker beige with uh, this gray color. I can't remember the name of the gray color. But those are the two main colors that I used inside the, my house for two of the bedrooms, the hallway, living room, dining room area and the front then so so you know i said you know what i'm always doing touch-ups i'm always doing work around the house so i'm just gonna get a gallon of it and i think the gallon of paint now benjamin moore that shit's like 50 60 bucks for a gallon of paint fucking expensive you know uh, you go to home depot to get their paint and i think their paint is like 30 35 bucks but the home depot paint is garbage not the greatest paint not the greatest paint sometimes you need to do three coats of the home depot stuff compared to benjamin moore that second coat is guaranteed to cover anything i never have issues with benjamin moore been using benjamin moore for years even when i used to do construction that was the main paint that we used was benjamin moore there was one job <coughs> excuse me that uh we had done it was out in Long Island. Did a remodel of a bathroom and this we put the green board for moisture on the ceilings and primered the ceiling. And we had Home Depot paint. We had the bare paint. It was semi-gloss white. Never forget this. So I had some of that. And I rarely use that paint, but I, I don't want to go buy uh, Benjamin Moore I said you know I'll just use this it's just the ceiling use this did a coat you can still see the green coming through and remember I had already primered did another coat same thing so we must have done five to six coats of that paint and it, the green would not get covered you could still see the green board through the paint and that was where it was the final straw there like, ah, I'm done never again using bare paint never using that stuff went and bought a gallon of uh, Benjamin Moore Regal semi-gloss white on the first coat we did covered it so that's where I was like you know what never again never again I'm using bare paint oh god stuff is horrible stuff is horrible I mean if you don't want to spend the money and get Benjamin Moore the next option for me would be Sherman Williams paints they have their own stores too like the way Benjamin Moore has but if I'm not mistaken Lowe's yeah Lowe's also sells Sherman Williams so if you're gonna get paint and you want to go to like a Lowe's go to Lowe's and get Sherman Williams don't get the the Valspar paint because that from Lowe's, I don't know how good that paint is. I've used it once, it was okay. But I, I would go with the Sherman Williams, pay a little bit more money for the Sherman Williams, or find Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore, I think, in my opinion, is the best paint. Best paint ever. It is expensive, but it does the job right. Yeah, man. I miss doing construction, I miss doing that stuff. That's why I like to f always find projects to do around the house. I find it exciting. It's the satisfaction after you're done with your project. You see, you oh, I did this. You know that feeling when you say, I, I did this. So this is, I fixed this. I created this. I find pleasure when I do something and I accomplish something and I see my work and I'm like, came out beautiful. So I find lots of pleasure in that. Let me know in the uh, comments down below, guys. Do you guys find that same pleasure 
of doing something yourself, accomplishing it, and just looking back at it and be like, I did that. That's my creation. I make that. Yeah. Let me know if, what you guys think, if you guys feel the same way. <coughs> I should have brought fucking my coffee. I can't believe I forgot it. I got my throat dried up from all this talking. I have nothing to drink to lubricate it now. Pissed. Might have to cut this video short. <laughs> this is a nice park. I actually come here years ago and I flew a drone in this park over here. I got something rattling back there. It's gotta be, I got something in the back that I forgot to take out of there. Uh, you know what, I'll go this way. Nice day. It's, it was sunny before. You can see now the clouds are starting to creep in. Looks like the rain's gonna come. Looks like it's gonna rain. They've been fixing this school here on the left for, I don't know, a few years now. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Why it's taking so long to fucking uh, remodel whatever they're doing on the outside. Looks like they're are they extending. Oh, they did brickwork. Yeah. I guess they refaced this whole school. That's a nice house right here, that building. Uh, you guys can't see it. It looks nice. It's like one of those little mini mansions. There's GameStop, baby. What the hell is in the back creaking like that? It's weird. I put something back there and I forgot to take it out. I know I did. Hooters. Movie theater. I haven't been to this movie theater in years. I haven't been inside a movie theater. There's my post office. Oh, look at that. The Long Island Expressway is moving. No traffic or nothing, huh? That's a shocker. I know we got a speed, yep, a speed camera coming up. Gotta make sure I'm doing at least 35 or below. We'll do 30, yeah. Speed limit's 30 over here. Now that we're past it, I can speed up. <laughs> what else? Anything new exciting? Oh, like I said, I did get a new uh, laptop for editing. I've got the, uh, what's it called? Lenovo Legion 5? Yeah, Lenovo Legion 5. It's got the uh, graphics card as a 3060. Got a terabyte of storage, 16 uh, of RAM. Uh, the processor is uh, it's an AMD Ryzen uh, 5, Ryzen 7 5800H. Yeah, that's what it is. Got it for editing and. I'll tell you something, I like this laptop. It's nice, I have other laptops, but they're not for editing, they're more, what do you consider, more for internet browsing and stuff like that. This laptop that I got is a gaming laptop, but usually gaming laptops are good laptops for also editing, you know, so. We'll see, haven't tested out editing, I got it all set up, ready to go. Got my editing software inside there. So we'll test it out. Let's see, I haven't tested like I said yet, but when the time comes, I'll do my initial test on it and see if uh, it does good with the editing. This camera doesn't even alert me. That's weird. Some cameras I get alerted, some I don't. Unless it's off. Maybe because it's Sunday. Maybe that's what it is. What the hell is that? I should try doing some gaming on it. Hmm. Let's see, it is a gaming laptop. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Love the sound. And it's not even in sport mode. If I throw this thing in sport mode, ooh, sounds like a beast. Well, not really a beast. It's got a nice sound. Get off your phone, lady. <laughs> Do you know how many people I see driving and texting here? Oh my god. So many. I remember back in the days we all got offended when we used to be able to talk and use our cell phones while we're driving. Uh, Seatbelts was another thing. When laws came in, you have to wear a seatbelt. People got pissed. Uh, here's another one uh, where people got pissed. Remember how you used to be able to smoke cigarettes indoors, like in restaurants, everything, and then or in bars, and when they stopped that, people got pissed? Now try doing all that. You say to yourself, wow, I can't believe that I used to smoke cigarettes inside a restaurant while other people were eating. Or I can't believe I was driving and having this, the phone up to my ear and driving that way. You feel weird if you do it because you're not used to it anymore. Or even putting on a seatbelt. If I don't wear a seat, I hated seatbelts. Oh, that was the one thing I couldn't stand. I hated seatbelts. I felt like I was being suffocated. But uh, after about a month of using the seatbelt, now if I don't put the seatbelt on, I feel naked. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Then I realize, oh, I don't got my seatbelt on. So yeah, it's crazy. I don't know what made me talk about that, but just popped in my head because I saw that lady on her cell phone. Even though she was at a red light, but still. You're on the cell phone, lady. I don't know what the hell is... You know what it is? I think I, I left the bottle. Oh my God, I got my detailer. My quick detailer back there, and I think it's flopping around. That's what I left back there. That's what it is. Nope, that's what it's got to be. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Like I said, not much happening. Gave you guys a little update on the carport. I'll be in Florida, like I said. I'll be there uh, next, the end of next week. Videos will be going up. Like I said, I'll do the drive and talk from there. I'll do uh, some videos from there. I'm going to do the cooking video also. Mike cooks or cooking with Mike that's what it'll be so we'll have like different series on this channel like we have the drive and talk series we're gonna have the cooking with Mike series so that's the one thing about this channel it's, it'll be flexible just I do whatever the hell I want on it different topics different things whether it's for automotive whether it's for electronics whether it's for cooking yeah I'm just gonna do a little of everything on here you know give you guys my experience talk about i guess my life you know so yeah guys thank you all for watching this episode of bike life <laughs>